heard a lot of guys talk about uh, decoys and how to set up decoys and what are efficient ways to get birds in and how you're going to get them where you're going to get them. <laughs> we always like to start our spread with a lot of guys do the, the pockets. They're, they're doing J's, they're doing S's, they're, they're trying to form pockets to get them in. The way we like to line ours up is facing into the wind, like they're feeding across a field. Now when geese actively feed, they'll get all in line and they'll kind of line up straight across the field and feed. Now if you look right here, the way we set up on the very tail, we set up all some tall centuries. Because a lot of times the birds are going to land on the back side and walk in and meet with the other ones. So this would be a, a small family flock that just landed in and is coming up inside. And you see you got a big cluster in here and a main cluster actively feeding. You also notice all of the actives are on the back edge or through the middle and all through the front is all feeders because they're actively feeding across the field. Now we leave a little alley in here where we are today and it, it worked out perfect because what we were doing was all the birds would come in, the wind is coming from my back right now, and either plop right here in this first pocket here or all of these decoys here. Notice how they're kind of in that little C or J, they popped right on that back pocket. So they would all come right over and either plop there or there right where I'm standing and if you turn around Right back there is where all of our blinds are at. As easy as that. Just give them some small pockets and use them more in a straight line feeding across. Now another thing I was going to talk about as far as the blinds being off the side, it actually works better if the blinds off the side. A lot of guys will hunt decoys in front of them and the birds coming into their face. But when the birds are doing that, they're looking over your decoys and they're looking right at your blinds. And if your blinds aren't stubbled or undone well enough, they're, they're going to see your blinds. They're never going to come in. Whereas if you put them off the side, and especially when our wind's coming like this, the geese are coming from over our head. They're focused on the birds here and not at our blinds. I mean, we stubble them up real good, but they don't notice them because they're looking right here at the birds and they don't see nothing else.